Today's the day I show my country I will no longer sit idly by as my friends and family fight and die for our freedoms. My uncle and I have finally finished with the restoration and are ready to go to war. After reporting to my post per the base commander's request, he gave me my first assignment. It wasn't by any means a difficult one. I just had to reposition one of Matova's forward airbases, Sochi Adler. Before leaving his office, I heard him say I never thought I'd see the day where the F-86 would fly again. When I looked over my shoulder back towards where he was sitting, he was staring blankly at his desk. I'm not sure he meant for me to hear it, I think he was talking to himself. And I'm also not sure if he had just subconsciously voiced a compliment for the work that had been done, or he was just rehearsing the beginning of his speech for my eulogy. I hopped into my car and started a drive to my hangar, which was on the other side of the field. My mind was racing, an internal battle of excitement and anxiety was waging its own war in my head. I always knew that this day, the one that I worked so hard for would eventually come. But now, it felt so distant. Now that it's here, I, I guess I never prepared my mind for this next step. The word nervous wouldn't even come close to describing my feelings but it's the closest thing I can come up with. I arrived at the hangar and parked my car just outside the main door. The sun was still low in the sky, trying desperately to burn off a low layer of fog that had enveloped the airport. I had a slew of preparations to do before I had been taking off that morning, so I was sure this fog would have dissipated by then. When I swung to the side door of the hangar open, I saw my uncle inside, busy prepping the saber. He greeted me with a warm but sad smile. He had really enjoyed the time we have spent together working on this plane. But now the journey of grease, rivets and solder was about to end. A new journey was for myself to begin. It wasn't long before our pre-flight inspections were complete. I donned my flight suit and helmet, climbed up the ladder and into the cockpit. I handed my uncle the keys to my car and said, Consider this collateral. If I don't bring the saber back, you can have it. He smiled and said, Your car, huh? You do realize this thing is even worth the same as the saber's tail fin, right? And with how much she's been leaking oil, well, I'm not sure there's even enough oil ration to us civilians to keep her running. With a final smile, he pulled the ladder away from the cockpit, warmed up the GPU, and slid the main hangar doors open. A crowd had gathered around my hangar to see me off. It felt great to see them cheering. I'm considered a local hero and I haven't even done anything yet. I'm sure hope I don't disappoint them. The base commander has cleared me to join up with the frontline at Sochi Adler. All that needs to be done today is a simple repositioning flight. I'll just stick to the flight plan. The locals pitched in enough for me to top off the fuel tanks. I'll get free Jet A from the military once I'm at Sochi. Unfortunately, they couldn't find any ammunition at this airport, so I'm going up without any means to defend myself. The commander has assured me that the country's air defense system is still working well, and I shouldn't see be seeing any issues along the coast. After departure, I should probably just stay in pattern for a turn to make sure that all the systems are functioning correctly. I wouldn't want anything to go wrong with the plane once I get far from the airport. Alright, Sonny, that should just about do it. Call for gr- Whoa. There's quite the crowd out here, isn't there? Well, call for ground power when you're ready and then fire her up. Don't snuff the start and make us all look foolish now, you hear? And be sure to bring her back in one piece now. Yeah, bring yourself back too while you're at it, would you?
top of tower here. Just want to see what a fine looking aircraft you put together there. All of us up here are glad to see you finally get her out of the hangar. It looks like you've created quite a stir among the locals too. Word has it that you've created a nightmare for a security coordinator this morning. But it's worth it. I'm sure you gave those civilians some renewed hope in this drawn out god for seeing it while we're in. Seven. We heard there's somebody down there creating quite a stir with some old airplane. Mind if we come on over and take a look? Trainer 7 and Alpha Tower. Word spreads pretty quickly, I guess. You're clear for a low approach over the ramp. Stay north of runway 22 at all times. Traffic for you is three trainers departing from runway 22. At a helo, low up to just south of the field. Wow, you weren't kidding. Would you look at that? Never thought I'd see one of those outside of an exhibit. And to think, those things first started flying when my grandfather was still a boy. Hey you, if you're on frequency and can hear me, great work with that restoration. We need your help more than ever too.
Saber, this is Radar Control. Just letting you know so that you're not startled, but there's a friendly approaching you from your 4 to 5 o'clock. Copy, Radar Control. I got eyes on him. Tornado. Likewise. That's Sochi Saver will land runway zero six.
Uh, Relic 1 acknowledges, Sochi. We will park anywhere on the ramp. 